Hey guys, I didn't get lost. Here I am at One Green Bean, about to play Uncharted 4 Thieves, and uh, we're gonna be amongst the first in all of Australia to be able to play this game. I'm super excited, can't wait to go up. So we just need to go up there. I didn't get too lost this time, so fingers crossed, and it should be fun. I should know how to get home as well afterwards. Be a trail marker. Let's keep an eye out for them. I see some ruins up ahead. Wait here. I'll go take a look. Oh, Victor. Still do a lot of traveling these days? Yeah, I try. <coughs> I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. <laughs> yeah, I was telling Nathan, it's shocking how much of the business is moved to the internet. I mean, I bet you have all sorts of options to hear with a lot of Yeah, sure, but I prefer talking to clients face to face. Get a good read on it. Hard to do that in a chat room, talking to some guy named Antiquity Master 37. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see that. much to see here. Well, ah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. <coughs> hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is gonna erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest 4x4. Four four. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time, kid. Yeah, so much for that rock pile. Technically, it's called a cairn. Yeah, I, I don't like to say that word. It just sounds weird. Cairn. 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 Nope, nope, I don't like it. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go, 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 go. Made it. Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. I just keep, keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going on. Ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Onward and upward. No, turn into it. Getting nowhere fast. You need traction here. Shit, shit, Naked shit. Making the rocks. I got it, I got it. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Fine. 
Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. You're going off-road. It might rain, might be muddy. How about we go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that winch? All right, hang on to... Oh, oh hey. shit. Take this slow, kid. Yeah. So, Nathan, you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because... why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? The British authorities were closing in on him. Sure. Maybe, uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. Go check out that tower. I'll come with. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. stripped away. Something was wrapped around this tree. Hey, did you know our car came with a winch? No, oh, really? I didn't know. What you gonna do with it? Not sure yet. Do it. Whoa, whoa. Wow, that looked like fun. Steeper than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. <laughs> Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Hey, just imagine. You've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. Ha, <laughs> poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. It's taken forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor, patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a former squid. The point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah, well, it's still taking a long time. Easy. Oh, 
Now would you look at that? Oh shit! Stop! Stop! I see him. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. And that means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight to them. Oh, shit. We do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead. How's it? Do you have that dungus hooked up yet? We're all set up. Just waiting on approval from Nadine to blow it. Good. Place looks empty. I'd like to get it over with and move on. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, 
Damn it, Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. I mean, they, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. Jesus, these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now, how do we get out of here? Against getting the winch, I was against getting ripped off. <laughs> 